I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Senator Patty Murray blasted Republican senators for blocking the Right to Contraception Act on the Senate floor Wednesday. The legislation would enshrine the right to birth control and other contraception into federal law. Murray said that Republicans, quote, aren't standing for women, they aren't standing for families, they aren't standing for a right nearly all Americans support, they are simply standing in the way. This comes after the Supreme Court's ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade in June. This decision gave states the license to ban abortion. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, it has been nearly 60 years since the Supreme Court decided Griswold v. Connecticut and affirmed Americans' right to privacy and with it their right to contraception. So you'd think this would be a settled issue. And for the vast majority of Americans, it is. The right to birth control is overwhelmingly popular. It turns out people want to be able to control their own bodies and make their own decisions about starting a family. Yet, as we just saw, somehow in the year 2022, this is not a settled issue for Republican politicians. We have seen some of my Republican colleagues not only block this, but try to deny reality, try to say this isn't an issue or claim that Democrats are somehow wasting time. Well, that's pretty rich because I can't help but remember how we all heard some Republicans saying the Supreme Court would not overturn Roe as well. How they tried to claim Democrats were overreacting even as they stacked our courts with anti-abortion judges and worked for decades to chip away at abortion rights. And now we are seeing the nightmare we warned about become reality. Women unable to control their own bodies and get the abortion care they need, a nightmare Republicans tried to deny and are still trying to deny, even as it happens, even as 10-year-olds are having to travel across state lines for an abortion after being raped, even as women are now being left bleeding for days, waiting for treatment for their miscarriage. So when Republicans say they support the right to birth control, my issue isn't simply that I'm skeptical, it's that I know better. And let's be clear, when I say I know better, I don't just mean in my gut, I mean I have re heard Republicans' own words. I am watching their own actions. Justice Thomas said explicitly in his concurring opinion in Dobbs that he wants the court to reconsider Griswold, which affirmed the right to contraception. The senior senator from Tennessee said the Griswold decision was unsound. That alone would be scary enough, but Republicans aren't just talking about undermining access to birth control. They are already taking action. Read the legislation from Republicans in Idaho, Missouri, Louisiana, Arkansas, Michigan, which would in fact outlaw Plan B and IUDs. Talk to women who've already gone to the pharmacy only to be denied their birth control or Plan B. Yes, this is already happening to people. And just last week, 195 House Republicans voted against the right to contraception act. And now today they've locked it in the Senate as well. The evidence of where Republicans actually stand on birth control is overwhelming. They aren't standing for women. They aren't standing for families. They aren't standing for a right nearly all Americans support. They are simply standing in the way. I want to thank the junior senator from Massachusetts, the junior senator from Illinois, and the junior senator from Hawaii for their work with me on the Right to Contraception Act that Republicans just blocked. I know we're going to all keep working on this, and I, I do want to set the record straight because so many of the arguments we have seen from Republicans don't add up. They're trying to distract from their extreme position. We won't let them. Madam President, this bill is incredibly straightforward. So you simply cannot say you support the right to birth control and then block this bill. I hope everyone will listen closely because here is what this bill actually does. It simply 
codifies Americans' right to birth control into law. That's it. And you don't have to take my word for it. Read it yourself. It's all of 15 pages. It protects a right people depend on and makes sure no one can take that away. And we're talking about a really basic and really fundamental right here. Since that right was affirmed half a century ago, generations of Americans have used contraception to control their own future, to manage and treat their health care needs, and start a family when they are ready to. For them, it is not political, and it shouldn't be political here in Congress either, especially when protecting this right is supported by a majority of Democrats, a majority of independents, and yes, even a clear majority of Republicans. Madam President, the American people are watching closely. They were watching previously when Senate Republicans blocked us from protecting the right to travel across states to get abortion care. They were watching last week when Senate Republicans blocked expanding support for our nation's longstanding family planning program. They were watching when the vast majority of Republicans in the House voted against the right to birth control. And they're watching right now as Republicans block a bill that preserves the right to use condoms, take the pill, get IUDs, and buy Plan B. As Republicans refuse to let us protect that right and pass this bill and continue denying the threats that are already undermining that right. This is a basic, fundamental right. And mark my words, the American people will not forget Republicans from blocking.